Welcome to this video where I'm going to be looking at this amazing book called The World of Moomin Valley. It was published in 2017, it was written by someone called Philip Ardag, and as I say it's a really big book this. It comprehensively covers everything you need to know really about the Moomins and Toby Anson, the author and artist behind it all. It comes in about 359 pages long, so it really is the go-to place for information about the Moomins. And it's a beautiful book, really nicely put together. I've just been showing you the front and back covers. You can see there's like some texture there, some de debossing and embossing, some gold kind of tints and the lettering. It's really nice. You've got this little hole in the cover so you can sort of see through to the Moomin Troll picture. That's quite a nice little feature. There's some publication details here, including the ISBN and the date it was published and so on. And then we get a look at the contents page. And as you can see, almost the first half of the book is given over to meeting the characters. I like this forward because basically he's saying that this is a complete work of fiction, Moomin Valley. It's, it's not based on real people or anything except in the following instances. And then he basically talks about how Tove was, was really influenced by her home country, Finland, and how that really fed into and shaped uh, the, the Moomins. I also really like this map of Moomin Valley. So I remember staring at this when I was reading the books back in what the late 80s when I first discovered them. I was really like intrigued um, by, by this map. I was trying to locate where everything was as I was reading it. It's a really beautiful book to look at, as you can probably see. It's very colourful, but it's also got a lot of black and white uh, original illustrations in it. Um, it's nicely put together. So you can see some nice green there. This is now starting on all the different characters. It starts with Moomin Papa talks about who he is, what makes Moomin Papa tick, and it moves on to the yellow Moomin Mama, very bright and bold, talks about her, and then I think we get onto Moomin Troll next, and so on. And as you go through, you realise there's a huge cast of characters in, in the books. Um, I recognise a few of these, I don't recognise them all, I remember Snufkin, just because I, I didn't read all of the books, I think I read most of them, um, but yeah, there's a huge ensemble, Little Mai, yeah. Ouch. Here's a bit about Sniff, that's like a big kangaroo with big ears and a snout. And then we have a page about Snork Maiden. This Moomin Troll thinks Snork Maiden is beautiful. Um, there's a lot of research that's gone into this book, obviously. There's a lot of information uh, over, like I say, over 350 pages, the Hemulins now. I think it's difficult not to be completely bewitched by some of this art. to love the contrast, the fact it's really dark and the sparing use of light to create something very atmospheric. I think it's worth a quick pause on this page, looking at this extended family tree, seeing the different characters and how they're all related. Here's Thingamy and Bob, a couple of shy little creatures that just appear. Next up it's the Mimble's daughter and then the original Mimble herself. And then we have Tutiki. As I said before, there's just such a huge ensemble. Right, this is probably my favourite image of the entire book. I love it. I love the big moon in the background, the thick snow. I believe this was the cover for the Moomin Land in Midwinter book, which seemed to be both cosy and eerie at the same time. So the next few pages have got some more characters, Muskrat, Flea Yonks, etc. I'm just going to skip over these because I want to get back to this bit here where it talks about some of the darker side of Moomin Valley and some of the more scary creatures that live there. Starting with the Hattie Fatness that look fairly, you know, innocuous, but there's this kind of silent swarming nature of them that is a little bit terrifying. And then we're on to the Groke, my favourite character, a very eerie character. You don't know much about the Groke, very mysterious, but you know she's female. She's got a row of teeth and a long nose and a, and a hideous stare, and she just has this habit of just turning up. The next few pages basically just talk a bit more about some of the malevolent characters, perhaps. And then we move on to a chapter about less familiar faces. was 
fairly fearful of the magical hobgoblin. He came out at night, didn't he? And he went collecting red rubies that he stuck in his hat. He rode on this panther. It was pretty terrifying, actually, for someone uh, reading that book at my age at the time. Here's another really nice, dark, high contrast image. It's very eerie. I like the, the sense of the breeze, the wind blowing through and Moomin Troll looking outside into the dark. Here's another lovely map showing uh, Moomin Valley, this time in winter. So this next chapter is called The World of Toby Anson. It's really just about the author and the artist herself. It talks about her sort of childhood, her influences. It's got loads of really nice uh, old photos and early sketches in there too. So this is uh, really interesting to, to learn more about uh, the, the brain where all of this spilled out from. I love this beautiful cover for the Comet in Moominland book. Look at the use of reds in there, the glowing nature of it. It's really nice. There's some other book cover designs here. You may recognise some of these if you've read the books too. Um, I really like all of them. And I'm glad they've decided to include all of those too because I think they're important. The next section beyond the books looks at sort of the development of the comic books, the cartoons, and also, um, actually, interestingly, a series of posters. Here's a really nice one. This talks about the globalisation of the books and how they've been translated into loads of different languages. This is how you say Moomins in different languages. There's a few pages uh, with some bits and bobs on including a little um, obituary actually for Tove. She died in 2001. Um, so there, there's an obituary about her there. Um, we get a character index, because remember, there's a lot of characters in here, and I actually used it to look a few up before I made this video. And finally, picture credits. And that brings us to the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I love this book. If you're a Moomins fan, get the book. It's that simple. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye for now.